back at the uh, 40 Eveline uh, uh, project that we're working in, Selkirk here. Um, breakdown of what we did yesterday. Uh, we've uh, set up the uh, shoring posts temporarily just so we can do the work. I don't have the proper planks to accommodate the uh, uh, beams there that you see uh, on top of each other. I've got to bring some, get some planks and cut them down to the width. So this is just temporary, but uh, we were uh, shoring it up and the case up because we're, we're cutting out all the uh, mortar joints, as you can see, all the way up. Today's plan is to uh, tackle on those top blocks that we see up at the top there and replace those and uh, do some repairs on those lower sections there. We might just leave them as is and just loosen up whatever is uh, already debris there and possibly put a coat of paint or something just to cover them up for the winter time. Uh, we also uh, sealed all the uh, holes up on the middle wall there as well. Um, one of the issues is up on the, balcony, the top balcony there, the uh, parging for the um, wall itself uh, underneath the uh, patio doors are all has all been destroyed. But I'll come and give you a hand in a second. Give me one minute. So we have to uh, parge up that area there as well. And we'll probably be tackling on to the end over here. Good morning. We have to replace those blocks there more than likely that's going to be a goal one problem is that uh, as you can kind of see that those uh, blocks on top of it are all stack bonded replaced several locations up there have been replaced there's a lot of movement uh, we should actually maybe shore up those two balconies as well It's in pretty rough shape. You can see the uh, block is missing at the very top of uh, this side. And those faces on the other side there as well. But like I said, it's all stack bonded. You can see the difference in the thickness of the block. And uh, I think it has to do with the filling. They've been filling up these blocks in some locations and uh, the water's disintegrating on the other blocks. See, they moved that block just two blocks up from the satellite dish here. You can see the difference in the block there. The width is a little bit narrower in a metric block, five millimeters difference. At the bottom of that area there. The same scenario here, those blocks up above those two cracked blocks on the bottom were replaced. We did the mortar joints on the back as well. Uh, the mortar joints on the blocks was fine. It was the mortar joint behind it that was really poor shape. So we went and flushed the surface. I ground out the top and bottom joint of the painted area so that we could have a proper bond between the cement just materials. Anyways. That's yesterday and uh, we'll keep on going and keep you updated.